document layouts. This is incredibly helpful if you have multiple customers or vendors that need different layouts, if you want different email bodies, or if you want to associate different or multiple email addresses when you're sending documents. Back in Business Central here, I'm gonna to go to a vendor card, but this can still be the same logic on the customer side. So I'm just showing it in one, it's available in both. So I'm gonna open up Fabricam here. So one of the big things that people said was, this email is great, but maybe they've got somebody different who gets the remittance and gets the purchase order. Or they might say they wanna have two people get this purchase order because they've got you know, a new person in their department or whatever it is. So what you can do is you can then associate under document layouts, you have the ability to do a few things. So one is you can assign the usage, you can assign what report ID is chosen when you hit print or send for that document. You can indicate which layout to use, you can indicate which email to send it to, and again, this can be separated by a semicolon, and you can also indicate a specific email body. So here, I can see for the purchase order, I want to use report ID 1322. Under purchase order, I might say, well, I want them to use the purchase order blue. I could indicate that I want this to go to Darren at Fabricam dot com and maybe it also goes to purchasing at fabricam.com so again maybe darren's the person that i typically deal with but i wanted to go to their central purchasing as well because i want to make sure that this purchase order gets through because maybe it's a tricky vendor whatever my reasons are again you can use different word layouts for email body I've got maybe a different email that I want to associate for my vendor remittance. So dropping down the usage is where you're going to indicate for which document you're dealing with. Got contacts set up for that vendor. You can select the email from the contacts. What this would do is it would prompt you for anybody that's been set up. So let's say, for example, I needed to use Crystal. Now that email is already populated. And again, I could just continue to add more. And then the copy from report selection has the same concept, but this is going to look to my report selection to populate the report and the layout information. So then what I could do is on a different vendor, I could go into their document layouts and I could set up different information. So I might say for them, I'll copy maybe the purchase order. I'm going to indicate that I want them to have the copy of the purchase order blue because maybe there's different terms and conditions or there's different information on there. Again, I can look to see if I've got any email contact information that I could leverage. But again, I'm just, it's less keystrokes. It's less information I have to enter. You can remove anything that's not relevant or that you don't need, but I have now set it up that I've got different documents being sent to these different vendors. And again, I've associated their email address. If I were to go now and navigate to my purchase orders, I'll find a purchase order for Fabricam. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna indicate to send. So now we can see that it's going to Darren and it's going to purchasing.com. And then down here, I can see my purchase order and it would be based on that layout that was selected. Any information or any questions that you need on this, please feel free to contact us using the information or follow us on YouTube.